Okay, so we developed our flow chart, we tested it, everything works perfect. We have our human algorithm, and now we're ready to go ahead and start coding. So the first thing we want is what are our blank places in memory. So we simply put var. So where are we going to get our blank places in memory? Well, we get them from input. So it's going to be new grade is going to be one of them. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that. Come on. All right. And that's probably going to, well, no, also the result of, of calculations that are not accumulators or counters. So we're going to copy that and paste that in. Those are really our only two blank places in memory. And that's because we learned in the last video that we don't um, start <coughs> accumulators and counters with uh, null values. We have to put something in them. All right, so that's it. So now let's go ahead and move on to um, ones that have to have val uh, values in it. And of course, our accumulator has to have that. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll do, copy this down there. And that's going to be equal to zero. We want to start that with something. All right, then we're going to need uh, another var. And that var is going to be our counter. So we'll paste that in. And we'll make that equal to zero also. Where's our var? Okay, instead of, I dragged it instead of copied it. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I'm not holding down the control key, I'm holding down the function key. The owner's not working right. Okay. So those are our two. Is there anything else that we need to have in there? That seems to have everything except, uh, if you remember, we're going to be using another grade. So another grade also has to go in there. Come on. So I'll go ahead and copy that. That's not part of our human algorithm because part of the structure of the uh, loop. So we'll do var, and that's going to be equal to yes. So now we have it all, everything we need. How we're going to start the loop, and then our accumulators and our blank places in memory. So let's go ahead and start our loop. So we're going to use while and then open and close parentheses. We're going to use this, another grade equals yes, so might as well go ahead and copy drag that down. But remember, we're going to be locked in a loop unless I use two equal signs. Uh, and that is going to put yes into another grade and say true. Then we're going to need our braces. So we have an open brace, close brace, and then I'm going to comment these. Start loop, and loop. Nice. All right, so that's done. So now all we have to do is this is how we're going to get in. How are we going to get out? Well, we're going to get out using another grade. And that's going to be equal to, or we're going to assign to that, what's returned from my prompt when I ask this question. All right, and then I have the question down here in my flow chart, so I'll go ahead and copy it. And paste it in. The only thing I need is my um, default value. And that's always going to be yes when we're doing looping, because it's always yes until they say no, and then it stops. And then the last thing is, how do we know we're at a loop? And that's going to be underneath the end loop. I'm going to put an alert. And then in that loop, in that alert, I'm going to go ahead and put done looping. Again, this is a test one. I'm going to get rid of it anyway. But now we have enough to test it. But I'm not going to test it uh, until I save it, because if I've locked myself in a loop by accident, I want to be able to open it right back up again. So this is lesson seven. And... Uh, let's see if I have already something here. Uh, well, I'll just call this something. Grade code. Okay, so now it's saved. 
And if I made an error, then I won't be uh, having to start all over. So I'm going to hit preview. It says, is there, you want another, um, is there another grade? I'm going to say yes. It comes up again. Then I'm going to say no. And then it's going to stop by saying done looping. So I know that this is, I have no problems with my loop structure. And now I can move on to the rest. So let's take a look at our, what else we're going to have in there. So, um, Next thing is our counter. Again, I, I should just change the order of this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. That's going to be the first thing in my loop. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Not that. So Control C, Control V. And then semicolon at the end. And all I'm going to need then is an output for that. And that's just going to be alert. And I'm going to get that for my flow chart. And that's the number of grades. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So you can see by copying and pasting, having doing this extra step of getting that alert is not going to slow me down all that much. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and save this and then run it. Number of grades is one. Do I want to go out of ground? Yes. Now number of grades is two. Want to go around again? No. I don't need to see three. And I'm done looping. I'm ready to go. So I know that part works. All right, so the next thing I want to do now is my input and my accumulator. So I have a place in memory called new grade. I'll just grade it. We'll grab it from up here. Come on. And I wish to assign to that place in memory what's returned from my prompt when I ask this question. And of course, I have the question already in the flow chart, so I'll go ahead and copy that. It's just as easy to type it, but I know that works. It's already been debugged, so why not? And then I need my um, default value, and I'm going to use 100 here so they know to type a number in. All right, so now I have my second output, another alert, and that alert's going to be this right here, the total for grades. And I'll paste that in. So will this work? Absolutely not. Okay, because all we did was take in the, uh, the number. We haven't accumulated it. So that's our next step. Okay, I'll go back to my human algorithm. Uh, whoops, come on now. Don't be shy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now, copy my accumulator, and paste that into the next step. So you can see I'm doing steps up here, then output down here, and then a semicolon at the end, and then test it. And I have a problem. But you see, I know exactly where the problem is. Um, line 3, character 5. Oh, what happened down here? Oh, I instead of uh, when I made this one here, this new grade, again, I held down the wrong key and it didn't. I moved it instead of copying it. All right. But you can see that I knew exactly that it had to be one of the last things I did, which is one of, that was one of the last things I did. So let's go ahead and save it and then preview it. Okay, the, what's the grade? It's 100. Number of grades. Total for grades is zero. Ah, okay, not so good. All right, and then we'll say yes. And let's do 50. Two grades, zero. All right, so things aren't working, and that's okay. So let's go find out why. So here's the alert. Total for grades is grade cum. And, oh, I type, see, I copy and pasted the wrong thing. See, I'm not, who's paying attention to what I'm doing here? That's the average one. All right, so let's go ahead and leave it because we have to bring it in anyway. So this is the accumulator. That's the problem with not putting it in order the way I want it. I should have fixed my human algorithm so I wouldn't make that error. But it really wasn't an error. I'm just missing something. Everything else works perfectly. And actually, since I'm here, let's go ahead and put our last output in rather than wasting our time. So that's going to also be an alert. So let's go ahead and control drag that down. And then, and semicolon. 
So I can go back to my flow chart now, get that last one, which shows the average. And this is actually the only, the only thing that our, our client wanted was this. The other two are just tests. All right. And, and by testing it, we found out we forgot a whole line of calculation. All right. So that looks like the whole kit and caboodle. So let's go ahead and change it, charge it. I mean, uh, check it. 100. Yes. Uh oh, zero 100. We know that's a problem. Average is 100. Yes. 50. 2. Ah! 0, 150. But look, watch, it's going to divide that. Crazy. All right, so when you divide, it makes it into binary, but our problem is when you do addition, it doesn't. Whoops, we have to put no here. Done looping? Okay. Got to rush. Okay, so what's our problem? This is right here, This uh, this new grade with a plus symbol and greater cum is joining, and that's because we're bringing the 100 in as text. All right, so we'll go ahead and do a conversion. And that's going to be, I shouldn't be typing, new grade, assigned to that place of memory, was returned from our parse int when we give it new grade. Ah, I missed it. All right, let's try it again. There we go. All right, so now I got to save it and run it. 100, one grade. Now that looks better. Average is 100. Yes. 50, two grades, 150, 75. All right, so we're good. I just type no, and we're ready to finish up. This is going to be a long video, but I want to finish it. So the next thing we need to do is we need to comment out these. Then I need to copy this only one that we need. And I'm just going to grab the end of it and put it down here where this alert is. And then I'm going to put document.write and comment out this alert here. I don't need this either. All right, then I'll run it and see if everything works. 100, yes. 50, yes. Oh, no. And the average grade is 75. So now everything is working perfectly, and that's the end of this video.